Hey guys, Umar here for Architecture Daily Sketches. April is over and it is May at this hour, so it is time to announce the winners of last month's challenge. Thank you again to all who participated and for sharing all of that wonderful, juicy talent with us. So I will start, as usual, with the honorable mentions in no particular order. First honorable mention goes to... Chastelia. You can follow her on Instagram. Now this is quite well done. Nice watercolor, and it's quite a majestic angle to depict this building. This drawing, this picture, it feels very regal. Congrats and well done. Next honorable mention goes to Steve Woodgate. You can follow him on Instagram. Now here is another majestic drawing of the building. You can see and even feel the swoosh in this one. And I love how you frame the sky behind it. It really makes whatever is in the foreground pop. Great composition and drawing. Congrats and well done. Next honorable mention goes to Arlie.arch and you can follow him on Instagram as well. This is quite a packed drawing. One, two, three, four, five views including plan here down here and each of them are drawn well. It's super informative by including the section and the plan but if I may comment on just one tiny thing, the coloring at the base here of the sky does seem a tiny bit muddy. It looks as if like a drawing from behind is bleeding through but it doesn't take away from your otherwise brilliant drawing. Overall, it's really well done. Congratulations. Next honorable mention goes to Odeng Architecture, and you can follow him on Instagram. Now this is quite a delightful animated entry. We always enjoy receiving creative entries like this, but if I may comment slightly, the base of the cafe is a little bit flat. It does have a curve that is continuation of the ski jump. Now aside from that, of course, it's still a gorgeous drawing, as always. Congrats and well done. Next honorable mention goes to Sarah.omran, and you can follow her on Instagram. Three views, tiny one here. Each beautifully done, nicely colored with texture and a great composition. Well done, congratulations. Next honorable mention goes to Calif Care. You can follow him on Instagram. Cool composition, like a presentation board. The main drawing is really nice, but I especially love how you incorporate these beautifully drawn diagrams on the site, giving it a sense of narrative. Congrats and well done. So on to the winner of this challenge, and the winner is Divyar Jun Rautela, and you can follow this person on Instagram. Apologies if I did not say that correctly. Now, what a beautiful tribute. It's amazing how you managed to juggle and compose all of these different views and even a portrait of Zaha into the drawing. Like here, how you use the plan view of the ski jump as a graphic diagonal, a tool of composition, and here where Zaha's hair just transforms into the winds of the sky. There are a lot of these delightful details in your drawing, and it goes without saying that this is a standout for this month. Congratulations and well done. And that's it. To the winner, we will be in contact with you shortly to arrange for delivery of your prize. Congratulations and thank you again to all that participated and submitted entries. And now on to the next challenge. For the May challenge, we are requesting that you guys draw this building. Number 1 Poultry in London by Sir James Sterling. Now I'm quite excited to present this challenge because it would be our first challenge to feature a POMO or postmodern building. Number 1 Poultry was recently granted Grade 2 listed status that acknowledges it as a postmodern historical heritage, even though it's actually quite a young building. It was designed in 1985 by the architect Sir James Sterling, but was only built and completed in 1997, five years after his death, making it his last project. It has had its share of controversies, mixed reviews, and outright haters, but by now, it's a legend. It is a delightful and playful building that draws a lot of references from its context, as well as architecture history and styles. It respects and emulates the proportions of its surrounding neighbors, but totally expresses a unique identity that's all its own. Some have likened it to a ship, an Egyptian temple, or a child's toy. I'd like to think that it's all of that plus anything else you can think of. Personally for me, coming from my Southeast Asian background, it actually reminds me of this delicious tea time snack. Aside from its formal playfulness, it also houses an excellent public program even though it's only meant to be an office building. The office bit is sandwiched in the middle like a kueh lapis between two layers of public program. The lower layer comprising of shops, shaded colonnades and a courtyard that punches through the heart of the building and connects it to the upper layer comprising of a roof garden and restaurant on top. 
It is indeed a masterclass in layers of both meaning and function, and is definitely deserving of its heritage status. Now you guys are free to choose whatever view of number one poultry, be it exterior or interior, and to draw in any medium of your choice. Just be creative and have fun. So for this month, we have a great price kit for one person that we put together from Alvin. Do check them out and their great products in links provided in the description below. So the prizes are one set of Draftmatic mechanical pencils, one set of tech liner drawing pens, one set of Promatic lead holder with accompanying refill, an aluminium pencil lengthener, an erasing shield, and a pack of sandpaper pointer pads. Now in order for you guys to submit your drawings, please include this full sentence. My submission for at arch underscore more sketching challenge hashtag the modman underscore m a y. It's very important that you guys include this whole sentence so that we can find your entry. You can submit your drawing on any social media platform like Instagram or Twitter or Facebook as long as you include this sentence. And guys, please also include under your submitted drawing this sentence. My submission at arch underscore more. Written with the same drawing tools that you guys use for your drawing is only an added measure for authenticity. Please note that your account status has to be public in order for us to see your entry. You can submit through a secondary public account and that's fine, we will just be mentioning the account that you submitted with. For further clarification, we've included the submission method in the description below. So good luck to everybody and we will be looking forward to all the submissions. To watch more videos, click on one of the boxes right here. If you're not subscribed yet, click over here. Thanks for watching.